is very popular these days, but the ancient method of hair removal can pose some risks. So before you give it a try, doctors say you may want to think twice. WDSU anchor Sulla Kim explores the beauty technique to see what they're concerned about. If you haven't seen it before, it's an interesting procedure. This is eyebrow threading. Aisha Sarkar has been getting her eyebrows threaded for years. I am an Indian person, so we have had it in Indian culture for many, many years. Look here, as esthetician Sheila Pastrana works it, the cotton thread is doubled, then twisted in the shape of an X, pressed in and rolled over Aisha's eyebrows, shaping it to precision. You definitely feel like a different person. You feel less scary looking, I guess. Here's Aisha before and after. But I will say that, you know, it's a very safe form of hair removal that doesn't involve any chemicals or anything like that. But chemicals may not be the issue. Experts say it's sanitation. Cosmetologist Asma Fassel shows us a more popular method where one strand is anchored in her mouth. This makes hairstylist Mindy Amaya feel uneasy. When you're doing something that's Running it through your teeth, there's sort of a yuck factor there that I, I, I just, I don't think that's appropriate. Asma says she hooks it on her teeth for balance and control. I hold it in my teeth, and when I do it, then, I mean, there is no chance to, for my saliva to travel towards, you know, the thread out. But dermatologist Mary Lupo believes it is possible for bacteria to slide down the thread. You know, bacteria can travel, you know, the, the, the saliva can travel along that track. I think it's much better if the technician is not putting anything in their mouth. Asma doesn't have to fasten it in her mouth if clients feel uncomfortable. She says just ask her to use her hands only. Yeah, they can do that if they want it. Still, Dr. Lupo suggests just plain tweezing. She says it's not good for people with sensitive skin or an underlying skin condition. The only thing I've seen in my patients personally has been folliculitis. Folliculitis is actually an infection in the hair follicle unit. And a pseudo folliculitis is when there's just an inflammation, but it's not an infection. And it's from the hair growing back into the skin at a bad angle. The State Board of Cosmetology accepted eyebrow threading into the aesthetics category in 2010. So they say if you are looking for an eyebrow threader, vet them. Make sure you get somebody who has a license and someone who works in a sanitary environment with a sink with running water that's hot and cold. They should thoroughly clean the area, thoroughly remove all traces of makeup, use an antiseptic wipe both before and after. Since Asma is licensed, I decided to give eyebrow threading a try to see for myself. But with the threading, I'm taking the follicle out so that's why it stays longer. Okay. And voila, I was pleasantly surprised at the results. And it wasn't as painful as I thought. On your side, Salah Kim, WDSU News. My eyebrows hurt just watching. <laughs> the State Board of Cosmetology regularly inspects eyebrow threading businesses to make sure they're following cosmetology guidelines. Threading is usually about $10, but it depends on where you go, and it lasts about three weeks.